For the last six years, our first guest has starred in one of the coolest shows on TV, Lost, which has its big two-and-a-half-hour series finale this Sunday night on ABC. Here's a look at tonight's second-to-last episode. Say hello to Matthew Fox, everybody! Thank you for coming on the show, buddy. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I appreciate it, pal. Uh, I didn't get to tell you last time, but you, you hosted a great episode of Siren Live. Uh, Thank you. That was uh, the most fun I've ever had doing anything. Really? I, had, <laughs> I had an absolute blast that week, and uh, everybody was so cool, and yeah. I just had a, a totally a great time on that. Would you do it again? Oh, God, in a second. Oh, great. Yeah, you said you'd go back. I, I was doing some research on you, and I, you're from Wyoming? Yep. A ranch? Yeah. My, uh, yeah, my dad uh, still lives on the ranch that I grew up on. Um, really? What part of Wyoming? Uh, it's the northwestern part of the state. It's in the Wind River Valley, um, a little tiny town called Crowheart, Wyoming, and he has about 100 and 130 acres and has gone through a bunch of different things over the years. That's the way farming is and, and ranching. You've got to sort of adapt to whatever's working in the market. And yeah. uh, gotcha. at one point grew uh, barley for, for Coors beer. Did it really? And, uh, that's, a yeah. fun, that's, a, that's a fun job for dad to have. Yeah, yeah. very, yeah. We used, Actually, to, used to party when you were a kid? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You have to, right? <laughs> you have to, right? Yeah, that's part of growing up in a place like Wyoming. I mean, you, you, start, you start partying pretty early and, uh, and pretty hard. Yeah, yeah and... Uh, yeah. Like, like, like you just get on a horse and just take off and just... Well, there's a lot of that as well, yeah. I mean, what do you mean? Drunk, uh, drunk horse driving? I mean, who don't know if there is a thing, but yeah. probably, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's, there, you have to travel. I mean, town is like 60 miles away, so <laughs> I would always be staying with, uh, with friends so that I didn't have to do that drive. And, uh, yeah. and that would give me the freedom to pretty much uh, goof off without having, you know, to, to get back into the house. So. That's, super, that's super crazy. But how, now, how did you get to New York City from Wyoming? Uh... I, I ended up going to Columbia University here in, in New York, and um, you know that was a, a huge transition for me. I did a year of, uh, of private school in between at a school called Deerfield Academy. Sure. And I uh, repeated my senior year, essentially did a postgraduate year there, and uh, then came on into, into Columbia in New York. Oh, really? And then just a acting was the way you wanted it? Or did no, you I actually got a degree. ride horses? I, 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 <laughs> in New York? I, I actually got a degree in economics, and then... Did you really? Yeah. But I was I was constantly broke, and uh, <laughs> at least you knew how to add and subtract. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I owe a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you know, my parents really couldn't help me put put me through school. So um, the the way the acting thing got started was I was really just it was motivated by finding a job that I could do that wouldn't take very much time that would pay me a, a good amount of money. So uh, I started doing TV commercials my junior and senior year at Columbia, and uh, anyone that we would have seen. My very first television commercial was a was a clear silk commercial. Uh, I, I, I was not the guy that had the zit. I was I was the guy that made fun of the guy that had the zit. <laughs> that's a good gig right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That is awesome. Yep. Yeah, I thought it was a good start. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's a good thing. Well, now it led to Lost and what's happening with this whole phenomenon, which we will talk about when we come back. Okay. More with Matthew Fox when we come back. I want to find out some secrets from this stuff. We've got to talk about Lost here. I, I, I heard this thing that Jack, uh, your character Jack, was originally going to die in, in, in the first episode. Yeah, there was a, an incarnation of the script about two weeks before I came in where J.J. Uh, Abrams and Damon Lindelof had this idea where they wanted to kill Jack in like the second or third act of the pilot. Really? Um, yeah, and I, I think they, they gave it away. They gave it to friends and family and people that were close to them, and the feedback they got was, you just can't do that. I mean, you can't start the show with this guy's eye opening and then kill him in the in the in the middle of it so yeah so they so they so they rewrote it and uh i came in and met them a couple weeks later and that's how it all got started you for always me. seemed like the guy that would know like all the like you knew all the secrets that was going on with lost like uh, as an actor as 
Matthew I, Fox. I, I faked a lot of that. You did? <laughs> that was a lie. That was a lie. No, I mean, I, I did know a lot. I had a really great, great experience with Damon Lindelof on the show and talking about Jack Shepard. And, and every year we'd, you know, uh, have a phone call before the season started and he would give me sort of the, the arc for the character over the year. And in talking about Jack, we'd be talking about the show. So I did, I did know quite a bit of what was coming. And I've always had the sort of final image of, of the series. And... But how we were going to get there, I didn't, I didn't know the exact mechanics of that. Do other cast members like, talk to each other and be like, what did you hear? Like, am I going to get <laughs> killed or am uh, I, I going to... Yeah, I think there was a little, a little bit of that. Um, you know, it was, it was a show where people really never knew what was going to happen with <laughs> their hair. What the hell was so, going on? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you, know, Next thing you know you're the smoke monster. Yeah, you know what's going that's on. That's not good. You don't want to be a around good the thing. smoke. No, nowhere near the smoke monster, for it, sure. And, God, you've done this. So you were in Hawaii for, I mean... When you, nine six, months out of the year, right? For yeah, six years? Yeah. That's a tight family. Uh, yeah, I mean, especially early, you know. Yeah. We were all moving to this new place and leaving behind family and friends and other lives. And so in the, the first year, we were really tight. And then, um, and then we all started to hate each other's guts, and so we didn't have <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, it was all good. It's yeah, they're no, they're a great, great group, not. man. Yeah, great oh, group. God, I love it. So how, how do you think fans are going to react to the last show, to the finale? Um... Well, you never know. I mean, I, I personally think it's absolutely beautiful. And uh, when Damon told me about it a couple months ago, I was, I was very moved by it and very surprised by it. And so I, I was certainly very happy. You know, one of the great things about Lost, which, which I think has made it special, is that it has, uh, it has in, you know, made people hypothesize and write out their own story. And so there is the danger that the way it ends is not going to be the way some people want it to end, and, and those people might be disappointed. But I think if they're open to what the show actually is, um, it's a really beautiful ending. Wow. Uh, do, do you watch the show? Uh, no. <laughs> no I mean, let me catch you up. <laughs> so you are... No, no, uh, <laughs> <laughs> take, two, take three days. You got three days. I can explain right, it to right you. On. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you, are you going to watch the finale? Do you have plans for a big party or something? Uh, I'm just not very comfortable watching my own my own stuff. I mean, I, I obviously get the story from the scripts, and I'm a huge fan of it. So I look for I've looked forward to those for uh, the entire six years. But you know, the, the finale, uh, there might be something going on um, in LA this weekend, and I will be there. And I think that Damon and Carlton and all the uh, all the writers are having some sort of screening, and, and I may hang out with them uh, while that's going on, yeah. That'd be fun to watch with, with all the other cast members, just see what you guys ended up doing. I yeah, mean, it's... what a great body of work. You've got to be really proud of this. I, uh, I, am, I, love I am the show. tremendously proud to have been a part of it. I really yeah. am. I think it's a very, been a very special uh, What a fun story. show to watch. I, cool. I just want to thank you on behalf of all the fans. So that was great. Uh, really great. Really a lot of fun to watch. There, there's so many... There's so many questions left unanswered to Lost, and we'll find out this weekend, but I want to find out stuff now. Okay. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to do a rapid question interview with you. Excellent. An intense interview, if you, if you will. I love it. Let's do this. Lights come down. Excellent. Kate or Juliet? Both at the same time. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob or the smoke monster? Both at the same time. <laughs> Are you Jacob? Yes. <laughs> In the finale, will we, will we get to see Vincent the dog or Walt? Both at the same time. <laughs> All right, that glowing yellow cave, is it the source of all life or a log flume ride? <laughs> the source of all life. Yep. Jack, with the beard or without the beard? Without beard. That beard was, uh, in this, it drove me insane. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm a big fan of that beard. Oh, my God. It's the worst beard ever. <laughs> now, uh, who shaved their chest, the character Jack or Matthew Fox? <laughs> the, the character Jack. <laughs> Okay, very good. Uh, the two and a half hour finale. Does it answer all the questions, or is it all about Jack's tattoos again? All about Jack ta All about Jack's tattoos for sure. What was more fun, trashing the lighthouse mirror or beating the crap out of Ben Linus? Beating the crap out of Benjamin Linus. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Favorite Jack mannerism. Do you like the shaky hand to the temple? Do you like the extended eye flutter? Or do you like the laughing, <laughs> turning into intensity? 
<laughs> I like the laughing turning into the intensity. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Finally, has the network asked you to star in a spinoff called Jack and Kate Plus Eight? It's in the works. Very good, right there. The series finale of Lost. Every Sunday at 9 p.m. on ABC. Matthew Fox, everybody.